Price the boss, my lovely co host, Carrie with two R's and two E's. Episode nine, where we at right now? No polycast, episode nine, guys. Mm-hmm, that's what's up. That's we what's here, up. we here, and we got our special guest here with us. <coughs> Introduce yourself, please. <clears throat> hey, yo, right now, it's your boy Snacks, man. Yeah, no poly cash. Shout out Price the Boss. Shout out Carrie. Two O's and two E's. Right. Yeah. right. He's joining us on episode nine, guys. Make sure you're following No Poly Cast. Make sure you're following Price the Boss, Carrie Music. I am Snacks. Guys, make sure. Wow. Follow us, The Circle ENT. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Leave us a comment, like, and share. That's what's up. That's what's up, bro. Done, man. What's up? What's up? What's, what's popping? We good, man. We, we good. good. We good. We good. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Looking good. <laughs> Feeling good. Feeling good. Looking good. We always gotta switch up our accent when we got guests with accent. Oh no, 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 no. We try to switch. You it know up. what happens all the time when somebody comes? <laughs> you right? chill around someone Usually with an accent. Pricey. Pricey. Yo, whenever I'm around someone Jamaican. That, that speaks Jamaican, for some reason I just <laughs> start be like, Yeah, yeah man. Right? Why go on, Reggie? Me there. Everybody. Yo, your parts sounds Jamaican. better than mine, yo. Jeez. It does. Well, that's what's up. But for, <laughs> for our listeners, they probably hear that you got an accent. Explain the accent real quick for those who don't know. From Rochester, New York. Don't ask how, why I'm in Canada during Corona time. You're asking too much. <laughs> Jeez. Right. No, I'm talking shit. But yeah, now I'm from Rochester, New York. Um, East side to be exact. Shout out the whole city. Shout out the whole 585. And that brings us to the topic. That brings of the me day. to my next question. What's your next question? <laughs> What's the topic of the show? <laughs> well, usually we see like uh, you know Canadian artists, especially you know Canadian artists maybe from the city that transition over into the states to you know further develop their music career. But we see you coming from New York, transitioning over here. What brought you over to Canada to want to further your music career? Atlanta was too crowded. <laughs> nah, I'm, okay. still, I'm talking shit. Nah, <laughs> yo, real talk. Um, to be honest with you, like, yo, the country of Canada is has the not is, but it has the best potential. You dig what I'm saying? Like, for Canada to only be 150, probably what is 152 years? Don't quote me on that. I probably got it wrong. There's a lot that can manifest it. There's a lot that can go on here. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And you know. Sometimes it's hard for you to see what's going on in your own background because you're here. But for somebody that's that's not, I wouldn't even. That's like that's 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 transitioning over it. I see so much potential in this shit, and I see how great this shit could actually be. I mean, wow. so I mean, I could have I could have stayed in America, and I could have. Yeah, I mean, I could have dealt with everybody else there. But the reality of it is, it's so much great shit going on here, and it's only right that somebody like me, you know, fall through and patch in and, and hey. see what's going on. You heard? Right? Carrie, can we hear you say you heard? You heard? <laughs> Did she say it right? Did she say it right? Did she say it one more time? You heard? <laughs> no, wait, hold on. I can do it. I can do it better. The first one, hold on. <clears throat> you heard? Nah. Okay, I can't do that. Don't know, put me on the spot like that, guys. American, Don't put me on the spot like that. For our American audience, <laughs> let us know if she got it down. Nah, nah, nah. So, should she say you heard? Can we get you to say, like, have you got any Canadian slogans down pack? Like, what's your favorite Canadian slogan? Yo, Toto's family are the man of my all here still. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he got me on that one. He got that down pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this ain't, um, this ain't my first rodeo with Toronto. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, yeah, I've been around. Yeah, I've been here before. Ask the man across from you how he met me. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Nah, cause me, cause Still I, I, me in, guys. I'm a, I'm a price of all trades, so you know. <laughs> I was on my baby boy from Jody hey. shit, you know, I'll just pop the trunk, 
selling some merchandise because you know everything merch out the trunk, right? <laughs> and then I bumped into him and he was on some like, okay, let's just say I was on some 2015 shit. He was selling some like 2020 shit already. <laughs> and I had to tap in with him. He's like, yo, yeah, I'm from the States. Rah, 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 you know, it's a little bit different over there compared to over here. Yeah. So it's like what I was doing was like really like one-on-one. Not a lot of people were doing the hand-to-hand thing like, you know, like yeah. how Tory Lanez first started. He was selling the CDs hand-to-hand. But I'm guessing the culture over there is quite different, no? Man, wave, man. It's like what you was doing, I was doing that shit at like 15. <laughs> no fun. <laughs> and it's no, no disrespect, nah, nah. though. No disrespect. Nah, nah, none taken, none taken, you know? Mm-hmm. So, put him on to something new. Yeah, I put him on to some other oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. And then he was like, wait, what? Okay. Yo, the shit was so real. After he cop, after he copped the first time, right nigga turned around and was like, Yo, let me get like three more. Like, yeah, because he's evolutionary with this right. shit. Like, look at this right here. Like, explain to them what we have right yeah. here. Okay. What is so, this right here? For those on the camera right now, um, for those of you, when you see it on the camera and shit. So basically what I did was with my project, I did um I did two versions of it. I did um I did a US a limited edition USB version, and I also did like a digital download version. Now the, the trick within this is um before the project ever came out on streaming, the project just came out on streaming in April. But beforehand, what I did was I had a hundred of these custom limited edition USBs that shaped like a shipping container. Wow. The name of the project is called Imported Goods. So um, so for for what I was doing with the USBs was I had um pre-orders, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And we did we did brazy numbers on the pre-orders, you feel me? Like it was ridiculous. And it comes with the original nine joints that's that's on streaming now. But it also came with an extra five joints that you're not going to get on streaming. And then it also came with three more on top of that five. Jeez. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And then if you pre-ordered it, for those who got the pre-orders, when you pop the USB open, you plug it in your computer, your TV, your car, whatever you're listening to, you got a personalized shout out before the project even started. Like I said, your name. I thank you when I said something personal. You dig what I'm saying? So that's something that it's more of a moment. That's a fact. That's that's more interpersonal. Exactly. And that's something that um, you know, as time go on, you know, as I progress in my career, that's something people could be like, yo, I remember right. my son had the joint. Right. And he it's said trend- that my grandmother made the bomb fried chicken. They it's trendsetting you. too. Yeah. It's trendsetting. Right? They remember you. Facts. Shout out to fun. Garden of Eden. You got this new joint off of Garden, uh, um, your imported goods, right? Yeah, the Garden of Eden. Yeah. Yeah. Some slight yeah. I used to show my skill and everything. Nah. Sayonara to the suckers who wish nothing but some trouble on a fat nigga. Cause I'm on my way to fat figures. I see my line before I ever fuck it. I like this. And you look so different from now. In this video, I was 60 pounds. Wow. Good for you. So, wow. Can you went like on a weight loss I would nigga trying to come back to Rochester with the mother load. I thought them deuces to them suckers who were full of flows. Hold my records on the radio. It was like I like you, bro. Yeah. Do you, do you feel better? Like, mm-hmm. do you actually I feel, feel better. I feel better. better. I look better. You feel me? My skin is more clearer. I feel right. I move around better. Is your DM more popping? Like, do you see a lot of people that probably curse? Like, no, 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 no. Like, do you see a lot of people that curve you? Like, a lot of people that probably try to hit up, they probably curve you. But do you feel the energy a little bit different now that, you know, you like, you slim down? Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's a fact. I mean, I mean, I'm I was I'm still the same. To be honest, in my head, I'm I'm still 353 pounds. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But do you look at do you look at them differently though? Because it's kind of like yo, whoa, you're hollering at me when I'm in my good spot. But when I was, like, do you um, look at them differently? You know what? I'm gonna be honest with you on that. Like, cause my views on people be different. So like, really, I don't. Cause mm-hmm. I, you, you dig what I'm saying? If you ain't wanna rock with me because of how I was back then, then it's fine. You feel me? I just remember that energy. But it's like it's like something the late great Earl Simmons said, you know, rest in peace of DMX. Trust rest everybody to be themselves, but trust that you can see them well. You heard? Right. So, so from yeah, so, rest in peace, DMX. Yeah. That's what's up. That's where I saw that video. And you you're from you're from um 
just to keep on that topic, you're from the States, uh, New York, right? Yeah. What was DMX's influence in New York? Hey, yo. DMX had me one. DMX had me wearing overalls with the overall shorts yeah. with Tim's and bucking at people. And bucking at Tim's. people. Barking at people like I'm imagine a little nine year old fat nigga walking up to you going, ar, 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 ar. what's that niggas want? At <laughs> like real shit. Like yo, and, and see my thing is because I'm from Rochester, New York, so our shit hit a little different. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like DMX from Yonkers. That's that's more like. New York City vibes. I'm more like upstate, western New York. Well, we, we call it upstate. Um, man, I still remember being a youngin when DMX first came out, and the impact of that shit was crazy. Like, it was like no other. It was like, it was like, yo, like New York, the whole state of New York did like a shift. You dig know what right. I'm saying? Um, wow. And especially when Belly came out, cause. When DMX came out with his first album, yeah, he came out with the second album later on that year. A lot he was of people doing good even numbers, remember, great. Mm-hmm. Num- he went platinum twice that same That's year. That's what I'm saying. Dig what I'm saying? Wow. But when he went, when he um, when they did Belly, that's when you really see that it was right. like, oh shit, yo, yo, this nigga's is really a superstar. Right. Like this is crazy. Yeah. Say get money, fuck a book. <laughs> your shorty, hey, 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 your shorty can't, your shorty can't eat no book, son. <laughs> I remember that it was a lot of it made a lot of people want to. It actually made me want to like be a rapper slash actor type shit. Right. When I seen like wow. Nas and those guys being like, when you seen like musicians actually acting in something different, like do you, do you feel like you um you would ever take that like that route? Like, of course, be an actor. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Before I was even doing any music, anything as a youngin, I always wanted to act for real, for real. What kind of movie? Um, I mean, I could pretty much do anything. You feel me? We could, I could do action. We gonna have to get a stunt double because I'm still kind of a little heavy set. You know what I mean? <laughs> Stop I it! Jumping off the roofs and running away from cops and all that type of shit. You can do um, whatever. And we, you, you can play a Toronto man because you got a Toronto accent. Though, <laughs> I, I could, I could, but I, you know what? I could, but I don't want to step on no toes doing that type of shit. So I'd rather somebody that's more fit for the role from Toronto to do that. You heard? But it's acting. It's acting. Nah, for sure. It's like, what if they want me? What if I go to the states and I want to be acting? Hey, nigga, get your start. money. I ain't about to knock you. Get that shit. You heard? Mm-hmm. But. I mean, like, it ain't gonna be on, no shade on you. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> He's like, do what you do. Do what you do. <laughs> do what you do. Hey, right. hey. But, um, yeah, like, yeah, me personally, I could do whatever, man. I could action, comedy, romance. Jeez. Like, you know, the little chick flicks and shit. Okay. Like, yeah. Okay. Double O, double O, double O, Bredgen. You know, the new movie. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Who would you say would be your inspiration for um like I want to know like music wise and acting wise? Um let's see. Music wise. Notorious B.I.G. Ooh, okay. Yes. Um that's what I'm saying. My faves. Yeah, I can right hear it. Yeah. Nas. Um shit. Myself. <laughs> um <laughs> Good to inspire yourself. Yeah, that's a fact. That's all Absolutely. Fact. Um, as a late Nipsey Hussle, rest in peace, man. Um, his his music, yeah, you know I mean, like it, timeless. Fact, it played yeah. it played a big part on you know how I do shit now. This 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 next person gonna be wild random, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Say it. Waka Flogger. And why is why 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 <laughs> why would you say it's random? Yeah. You said why? Cause a lot of you not gonna hear no East Coast nigga come here talking about Waka Flogger like. So why did you choose Waka? Because I think he even worked with some artists from the state. Um, no, that's a fact. Is it Frenchie from New York? Yeah, Frenchie from New York. Definitely. Yeah. Well, here's the thing with here's the thing with Waka Flaga. Um, when he came out, his shit was so unorthodox. It was so different, and you know, people a lot of people were saying, "Yo, he can't rap. He can't do this. He can't do that." But I just personally like Waka just because he's him. You dig know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. And then this is what really did it for me. On uh, his, he got a project called um, "Shoot Me and Shoot Me Too." And the song, the name of the song, I think it's called Blunt Music or some shit like that. Jeez. And when you turn the shit on, his first words, I might be quoting it wrong, but the nigga was like, yo, you know, people say they want to hear metaphor, metaphors, lyrics, you know, Jigga and Nas type shit. If this is what you want to hear, take my shit out and throw it out the window, nigga. This flocker. And from that point on, I said, I fuck with this nigga. Because I know what I'm getting. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He's keeping it real. He's always been like that. He's like never changed. 
Yeah, he's he actually, grown and evolved. Yeah. He actually did a couple of shows in Toronto when all the shows and stuff were open. Mm-hmm. I think it was around the times when I bumped into you, Care, um, <laughs> Young She, Care Banner. Ew, Banner. Oh, yes, when, yeah. when when the world was free, you Pricey know. Was out there. Oh yeah, yeah Young Street was different back then. Well, yeah, Young Street. Listen, yo, Young Street around them times, like JP, you know. What I'm <sighs> Yo. Hey yo, it was listen. I I be telling people a lot because people don't understand like how far me and Toronto go. Like I'm gonna just say this: Kira Banner from '04 mm-hmm. till about I'll say 2010 around the road to y'all remember the yeah, road yeah. Toronto? Yeah, the DVD, the road Toronto shit. Kira Banner around them times, son. You had to be there to see that shit, yo. I was not there and I did not see it. <laughs> Yo, we was outside. <laughs> legendary, man. Yo, there's we... a lot of footage on the internet, you know? I know. But then there's a lot of stuff that's not on footage. That's a fact. Pricey, you got to tell me thing. the stories, man. Hey, Pricey's course. got the story. Y'all got to tell me the story, Boy, guys. One day when we have an episode, when we just kicking it, you know? Yeah. Uh, we'll break down some I'm stories. I'm going to get some stories out of you, Pricey. I'm going to have a tell-all. Right? <laughs> Actually, we're gonna, we gonna have a Nutella. I ain't talking about. The, <laughs> I ain't talking about the spread, homie. <laughs> Nutella. <laughs> oh man. Oh my God, I'm out. About numbers. to get into some bars in a bit. Oh, some yeah, we go. Yeah, man, we got we got some. Yes, uh, guys. Polygraph, man. Oh, yeah. We gonna we gonna really put it to the test. Oh, yeah, gonna man. test me, okay? Yes. Absolutely, yes. guys. Shout out two twenty on the beat, and shout out Justin. We are gonna get real plugged right? in when it comes to that. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it, guys. We ready for that right now? We're going to do that right now? Yeah, ready? let's get into it. Oh, you that ready? Y'all ain't got no more questions? No, we, we got can... questions. Well, you yeah, ready for that? We can, we can oh, yeah, we can. Come hey, on, Justin, man. He said he's ready. <clears throat> we going to do it. No polygraph. And for those who don't know, before we drop the bomb, Justin, let them know, Carrie, what is the polygraph? The, no, the polygraph mm-hmm. is basically where you let us know. Actually, our listeners have to let us know if you have bars or nah. not. Okay, you're gonna cool. freestyle, drop, drop a hot freestyle, and they're gonna let us know. Does he have bars? Gosh, or not? Nah. Bars, bars, or not? Nah? And, and you can't get mad at them if they say not nah because it's, oh no 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 no. It's either you rock with it, you don't. I ain't trying. Right? Right? No polys. But I have faith in you. Oh, I know. I have the bars. utmost faith I in you. Wish, Episode yeah. three, guys. Right. No polygraph. Here we go. Let's get into it. Uh huh. No polycast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. I said, look, yo. The start of the last, I ain't having baby parts up fast. I'm back up like parking nays on the trunk and they back on my ass. Pause though, none of that wordle shit get applaud, yo. I'm sicker than I straight out of Bob them dude with the cough, yo. Come to the cash, I'm a ravenous dude. I ain't arguing over M's, that ain't a fabulous move. Man, you better cough for the dough. I gotta get the cake up, life's an everyday struggle, nigga, minus the Joe. But a nigga out for the BA, from all C to CA. But if I slap this nigga, he gon' go and call a DA. Hits harder than Madden tackles, ain't talking. Greedy and ass niggas joking like this was D-Ray My god brother let it take shots like this is 2K mm. Over my career so don't watch me like a Blu-ray mm. Cause when I eat the whole team is getting a slice So don't tell me about your cake if I ain't getting a slice This is crisis minus the sickle cell sickening the night He probably die if he was to be the sick in your life If he think you fucking with me though You better off having a chance Hopping off the CN Tower into a speedboat Damn. I seen it in my future to bag up all of the free codes right. To put the beast in niggas like Boy, wonder for the C-notes right. Who's I mean B-notes Don't tell me you ain't get it, nigga Brown bills, blue strips Either or, what's the difference, nigga? Oh. Your wife, you get it, my nigga Heard that shit man, honey You try to send her over here So she can take from me yes. The only thing she got was dick And a fake 20 Fuck that at the park Better come outside like K-Money Grew up on the dark side Not an Eglinton, dude But trust me, if you want Get a slug in your can of the goof Look, nobody can't stop me Before I let police try and knock me A nigga gon' go out like Watson Ooh. Jelly said money can't buy happiness, but it got me uh, Sitting inside my Lexus with these leathers looking stocky no I don't guess. believe in liars, but I'm pre in the bias Flow dirty like the McDonald's, that's on Queen and Spadina Damn. Put the cash in the green pay, 
<laughs> Old plug and scroll boy had me selling Marvel cuts to a couple niggas in G-Way. I laugh when they said it's four bands for the hammer. Going cop just to sit your stupid ass in the slammer. I might go and get some high points out from Atlanta. Tell them more for the low. I don't pray that they don't jam up. That's my Rochester hustle at its finest. I don't do consignment. Might have to finger pop one of these vaginas. Polo rugby with the Timberlands on at its finest. Discontinued style, so good luck trying to find this. New York nigga, that ain't what she paid. But had to bring my talents to the six like LeBron in his heat day. Look. Hey, I know I spit that heat wave Could kill any one of you niggas' songs in three ways On, never off, though I know you bouncing your head Cause it's that young Tory when his head hit the wall flow Jeez. Snacks Yeah Snap No yeah. poly Jeez Hey, yo, Carrie no Mars are <laughs> nah, yo, I'm on fire, bro Mmm Jeez Know the vibes? Jeez, oh, oh my god, oh my god. I couldn't <laughs> even, like, yo, I couldn't, my phone died. And I no, shit. let us know. I think it's unanimous, but do we got bars? Do we got bars? No bars. Just to tell us we keep going. We're going to keep going with this, man. We're going to keep the energy going right now, Jeez. man. So, wow. so that's Holy. the style right there, man. What, <laughs> you got to tell us, what, what, where's the motivation when it comes to that? I'm sorry, I feel hyper now. I got to calm down. I got to drink some water. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you might have to let him hit that blow one song. Yeah. Oh, he, he got he one got, lit he already. Got two. Listen, he got man, two. I don't even know what happened. You start spitting and a blunt just popped in my head. I felt like Bugs Bunny. Like what? <laughs> that know. was fire. That was straight JP, fire. JP, you pass me the blunt? Like what happened? Wait, no. <laughs> Where, the, the, he got two. Where did the second blunt come from? And they're oh. both like half smoke. Like what happened? I, I, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Yeah. That was no polygraph. Episode three, guys. Jeez. Bars. Fucking on. Um. Yeah. But yeah. What was it? What was the question? You said you said where did the inspiration for that come? Yeah, from? like the, the um, oh. cause you said a lot of bars, man. A lot. You, yeah. you, there's a lot of like context in those bars. Oh yeah, you know. You question. tuned in. Yeah. You tuned in to Toronto. Yeah, right? absolutely. Oh yeah, you know. I mean, that should just my my for me my my life imitates my art. Uh, you dig what I'm saying? So I'm I'm more so. I'm one of them people where I'm my shit is my shit is real life. You dig what I'm saying? Absolutely. That's what's so, um. That's like really the best way to put it. I can't, you know, and this ain't no shade to no other rappers, but me personally, I, I talk about shit that I go through and that my people is really going through. Like, it, it'd be hard for me to get in the booth and just make up some shit. Like, you know what I mean? When there's so right. much shit going on and so much things that I am that I can pull inspiration from. So, yeah. yeah, my shit just be, you know, my real life, man. They say art imitates life, right? Yeah, for real. I personally have been... To the McDonald's <clears throat> and Queen and Spadina. <laughs> I seen your face. And it is dirty. I saw your face expression. I'm like, I was like, I've that bar hit Carrie. Carrie, I've been there. Carrie was just like, boom. You said a bunch of Toronto. Been. You said a bunch of Toronto shit. That all of a sudden right? you said that Carrie just went. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she felt the wave. I did. <laughs> how has it? How has it been for you networking with other artists in the city? Um, you know, that's a good question for real. For um, when it comes down to artists in the city, um, I just fuck with who fuck with me, for real, for real. Right. You know what I mean? Um, shout out to the homie Bug. Shout out to my homie Frank. Shout out to my bro, A-Son Eastwood. Uh. See what I mean? Um, shout out to Daniel son. Fucking, um, let's see. Shout out to my bro, Heartless G. Free, my nigga. You heard? Um, free up, free up. Um, shit. <sighs> it's a lot of artists. I don't want to... I don't want to start shouting out a whole bunch of names and the niggas feel like I forget them because really, they, these niggas in here smoking. Right. So shit cloud on my shit. Right. So if I forget, Shout out everybody. Shout out everybody. Shout out Family Game Black for sure. Um, yeah, really for me personally, I'm not really a... Um, I'm, a I'm more of a vibe person. You dig what I'm right. saying? So Absolutely. I have to meet people and I have to get your vibe to see if you know we can even Click. continue to you know vibe on another level. Yo, hold on. Yo, shout out my nigga Kevin Ontario. Shout out, Kevin Shout out Kevin I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Shout out Gucci, Gucci, son. Bang. Yeah, we had him on. We had him on the podcast. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's my. That's my bro. Like, like real talk. Like I could. I, I like me. Me and me and Kevin Ontario. Like that shit deeper than rap. You heard? So I got I, music I, in the joint. Y'all got any? Yeah, music? we got. We definitely got. We got a couple of joints. Think <laughs> y'all dropping? That'll be sick. Right? You got. You got to ask Kevin, man. You got. Yeah, we gonna, right. gonna tag him. We in gonna the post. ask him. <laughs> we gonna ask him. We gonna ask Kevin. But um. Really, um, I say bugs. Shout out the bugs. Um, but yeah, me personally, um, I'm just most on the vibe tip. Yeah, you know I mean, so if I meet somebody and we vibe and we link and everything is authentic and everything is genuine, 
And that's how I like to do my collab. Right. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what you definitely. gotta do, right? Yeah, that positive sure. vibe, that positive energy. You wanna make sure y'all are on the same page. Yeah, for sure. Fuck. I love that. Is yeah. there anybody who you would wanna collab with or network with and you know, um, do music with? Me personally, um, even though I'm selective, I'm really open. I'm open to, you know, vibe with different artists and and meet with different artists. You dig mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So we, you know, I, I rather, I I'd rather put it out like that. Like I'm, I'm really open. I just want to make sure that the vibes is right before we open continue to do it. Exactly. I'm open to conversation, and I'm open to work with really anybody that want to work with me. But my main thing is, I just want to make sure the vibe is there. You know what I mean, so is it vibes over the bag, or would the sometimes would the bag supplement for the vibe? It depends, man. Because not all money is good money, and mm-hmm. the reality of it is, you can't um. You can't, let's see, you can't really sometimes, you can't do records with everybody. And that's another thing I'm learning too. Because, for instance, like, say somebody could come to you and they got a bag for you, but the reality of it is you doing this record with them and taking that bag could hurt you somewhere else and you wouldn't have no acknowledgement of it. You feel me? Mm. Because that's just how the game is. Like, for instance, I'll give you a perfect example. Say, for instance... Before 6 and 9 did what he did, you did a record with him, right? And then he did what he did. And then now he like, yeah, we're going to put this record out. Yeah. You already signed off and shit. But you see where I'm going? You got to be careful who you collab with. You got to be careful who you, Very know what I mean? True. So that's why I say, <coughs> you know what I mean? The vibe has to, Very ultimately, the vibe got to be there first and foremost. Or, yeah. You know what I mean? But if it's for like a bag, I at least got to like yeah. the song. I at least gotta like this song. So you're okay. telling me if there's like a, a rich, a rich kid and they're just doing the music and the dad's like, yo, yeah, we got like ten bands for you, man. We just need a chorus. I gotta hear this song. So you look at the kid that's a fan of you and be like, sorry, sorry, Bob, we just sorry, can't Bob. do the record. <laughs> you know, you like. Is, is it always about? That's not, I just want to know because for me, it's not always about a bag because I can go get ten thousand dollars another way. No, I, I rate it. I'm just asking, yeah. you know? Just, I just yeah. got to hear it so at least, at least some people, they, they get to hear it. Yeah, nah. For, for me, it's all about a vibe. Like, there's, there's, there's instances where there is about a bag, but in those cases, I got to at least make sure that I like the song and I like what you're doing. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? But I'm not, me personally, I'm not going to just just do shit just because the money is there. You know what I mean? Like, if, if, that's, if it's just about money, then fuck that. Like, it's a million ways to make bread. Right, I done made money so many other different ways that I could reject the nigga deposit. Not trying to be funny or anything like but that, it's just but what it, is. it is what it is. If we don't vibe or if I don't like the song, then I'm not gonna put myself in that situation. I'm crazy. You're always saying how important it is to be upfront and be more blunt and yep. be, you know, honest with people yeah. from the jump. Anyway, I have to, yeah, especially in this game right now, because it's a lot of fake and flooding going on and. and yep. You know the real, the real ones is not really appreciated as they should be. So it's better to be Absolutely. blunt so they don't get it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, price is funny. <laughs> real, it's better to be blunt so they don't get it backwards, man. What? <laughs> yo, no funny shit, son. Yo, price be coming up with some. With some catchy ass shit for right? real, for real, for real. He's just on it, on it, on it, dropping jokes, man, all the time. He's quick with it. What? Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I wanted to ask, like, what is your ultimate goal that you want, or impact that you want your music to have on your fans? Um, let's see. If it's one thing that I want people to pull from my music. Just asked a good ass question for real, for real. I'm not even hold you. That was a good one. <laughs> okay. um, I say, um, when you listen to my music, I want people to take from it the stories that's being told, the way that I craft the shit, the way that I put to put everything together. Each song is gonna tell you an individual story. I just want people to just hear my story and take whatever lesson that they can learn from this shit. So if I can give an example, I got a record on my project called Helpless. And in that record, I'm talking about everything that I was going through before I moved to Canada. 
and the lesson, and I actually put the lesson within that song. You get what I'm saying? Can we hear a little bit of it? Can you, can you, can you, can you like, spit some acapella of it? That you part? Write that. Well, you want the beginning or the end? The part. Anything that pertains okay. to... Okay, so I said it like, this is how I started. I said, I done made myself out of the reach, bottom of bottom where I used to be. But I've been climbing and climbing it steep. That let me realize that I was too deep. And I'm not talking about shit in the streets. I'm talking about all the pain I ain't released. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> and that's Jay, just the right? acapella right there. And that's right? just the acapella, yeah. So where can they find that record? And where can they find any other music from you? Um, Imported Goods is actually... Did we even get into the project yet? We didn't get Imported into it. Imported Goods. Did we get into the project? Like that Imported Goods merch. We got the merch right here. Make yeah. sure you guys hit us, hit them up. Yeah, Support, so, right? Especially... That's yeah. one of the records for those on camera that I can see. That's Teddy Ty right there. Who is that? <laughs> we want to know. We all want to know. Oh, yeah? Shout out to her. Shout out to yeah. her. Mm-hmm. Shout out to her. Hey, your price blink. <laughs> right? My glasses got foggy. A little foggy. They smoking. are. <laughs> glasses got foggy and we not even smoking. Ooh, I like this song. Jeez. Um, yeah, tell banger. us about your project, Imported Goods. So, um, Imported Goods is is really um the story of me taking the things that I've went through growing up in the city of Rochester and me transitioning over to you know Toronto, Ontario or Toronto, Canada. As you know, a lot of people don't know the provinces and shit like that. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> it's just me telling my story of the transition and the things that made that pushed me to transition and the things that pushed me to um, just to be get to this level where you just kind of leaving the old. Yeah. Wow. But you um, you're transitioning to the new, and then you're seeing, you know, you're seeing, you know, what 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 can you what can you do out here? What can you offer? What can you bring out here? So um, that's that's what important goods is. It's wow. just telling that story. I could relate. I definitely could relate to that. Yeah. You have the shipping container shape USB to like <laughs> all tie into it. That's yeah. so creative. Yeah, thank Entrepreneur, you. Negro, you know? Right? Hey, listen, man. That's the only way I know how to get it. Huh? Right? I read it. We always talk about how important it is to have your branding and your merch on you Facts. at all times because, you know, you never know who you're going to bump into. For real. You got to be, you got to stay ready so you don't get ready, man. Stay ready. Don't get ready. Right. You're supposed to be ready. When I wake up in the morning, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I might be in my drawers in a robe if a motherfucker important be like, man, listen, we need one of them USBs. <clears throat> hey. I'm coming outside, do rag on, drawers on, slippers in the motherfucking robe. Like, oh, what's up? I got that. I'm out here. Damn, this shit, I, I keep pulling this shit out. This is crazy. Pause. That's that energy, though, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. But, um, yeah, that's... um. Yeah, that's what Imported Goods is, and um, you can find it um, you can find it on it's, it's on all streaming platforms right now. But um, I always give people my website. My website um, I am Snacks. No, sorry, my website is SnacksMusic.com, and on my website, it's a one stop shop for everything. All my updates is there. Anytime I drop something, it goes straight to the website. I try to make it easy for people. I got I got the the, the streaming version is on the website. I have the limited edition version USBs that's on the website, and I even have a digital download version on the website for those who um who just want to support. Excuse me. That's what's up. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, we got we got um we got some merch coming soon. We got the imported goods merch coming soon. Um, more we got more content coming soon. It's um I got a mailing list. Anybody go on the website, you can join the mailing list, and um I send out emails. I try to send out emails at least every week or every two weeks, and you know I send all the new content to y'all if y'all on the mailing list. So everything you need is right there on the website. I made it easy for y'all. Go to the website, guys. Go to the website. Check it out. Yeah. <laughs> That's dope. Yeah, for sure. I love that your songs. Every single song is gonna tell us a story about a little, a little bit more about you know your life and where you're coming from and <clears throat> what inspires you to do what you do. Yeah, no, for sure. I think um, I think it's um. And this, and the way the game is now, I feel like a lot of artists don't really tell a real story. I feel like a lot of them leave out a lot of shit, and you you may never know that one thing you leaving out could save like a hundred people life. Absolutely. Yeah, you know I mean, so it's for me personally. I think it's just um, I think it just makes more sense to be completely transparent with the people that listen to my music and get y'all the good, bad, and the ugly. 
know what I mean? Because that's the only way that we're gonna we're gonna be able to relate. Y'all can relate to me on a human level. You know what I mean, absolutely. Yeah, I love that. That's so important. Oh, Thank for you sure. for sharing that with us. Oh yeah, no question. You know what I mean, I I always try to um, I just always try to be real, man. Just try to you know, just try to be a a, a real person, a real human being. We don't, we don't got a lot of those right, right now. We got a lot of robots running around and shit. So we gotta appreciate the real. Yeah. You know, when they drop those gems for us. Yeah, facts. facts. You know? And people <clears throat> really appreciate that aspect, like, really knowing your true self. Yeah. You know? Because it's, it's nice to have, like, catchy music where people can just bump to and when they want to get hype and stuff. But it's always nice to get those messages and those DMs from people that, you know, I don't know if you've ever got that where they're like, hey... You know, I was listening to your music. It got me through a really hard time. Or, like, I really resonate with this one song. Or, you know, like... I got like... a story. I got a story mm-hmm. about that. So, um, there's a record on my project called Tables Turn. I shot a video for it. And um, I sent it to this shorty. And she listened to it. And she was like, yo, you... somebody finally made some music that I could relate to. And, and I was like, what you mean? Well, in the record, I'm talking about... In the record, I'm talking about me going to college... And I had to, but I had to drop out because my mother had a stroke and I had to take care of the whole household. I had to make sure everything was going on. Like I'm, I had to try to make shit yeah. even. And this is, this, this, I'm taking care of my little sister. I'm taking care of my mother. I'm paying the mortgage on the crib. I'm cooking dinner. I got to get food for the house. So I'm, I'm going through all that. So I'm just telling that story. And the shorty was like, yo, my mother had a stroke. I was 16 when it happened. I had to drop out of high school. I had to get my GED and I had to fend for the family. And I'm looking at the fucking text and I'm like, wow. damn. Like, you know what I mean? How so, did you feel? Like, how did, you, like, how did that make you feel? That shit gave me goosebumps because mm-hmm. I, it, it let me know that me telling my life story and me, me telling people what I'm going through is actually connecting with people. You know right. what I'm saying? That's amazing. Definitely. It's like that reassurance that you get, like, this is why, you know, like, this is like, it pumps you up even more to continue. Yeah. Facts, right? Facts. That's great. Yeah. That's what's up. I love that. Good for you, man. Keep on progressing. Keep on putting your project out yeah, and sure. telling your story. Are you, you on the. Still got so much to tell. Are you on the, the TikTok wave? Like, you're on a lot of <laughs> platforms with this. Are you on like, TikTok? Um, what, what platforms are you on? No, so no funny shit. I just started TikTok. Hey. <laughs> I just started it. Um, you know what's going on with it? <laughs> Man, it's a whole lot of shit. I could show you a couple things. Yeah, you know, put me on. I, I want to see what's going on. I, I could mean? show like, you a couple wanna... things about the tickety tack. <laughs> what's your favorite TikTok? Oh, I don't know. Oh, um. Have you guys been seeing... um? I got, Pressa on TikTok lady. Yo, Pressa yeah. had me rolling when this when the nigga did the shit. Shout out to Pressa too. I met him in LA, yo. Yeah, you know I mean solid, mm-hmm. solid dudes, huh? Shout out Pressa. Shout out Pressa. Um, I um he got the TikTok where the shorty was like, yo, if you leave, if you walk out of here, you're not coming back. This nigga rolled out the fucking. That was Pressa door. who rolled? Yo, that shit had me fucking crying, <laughs> son. Wow. Um, but I will say, my favorite TikToker right now is Turpsky. Terpsky, I don't know if y'all y'all do y'all follow. Yeah, I show you. Put us on. Do y'all put us on. do y'all follow Shay Room? Yeah. Okay, so y'all seen that? It was a video where it was a dude outside, like it was like late night. He was on like a camera, and the nigga was like singing Ray J One Wish out outside somebody's door late oh night. My yeah, 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 yeah. And, and I think there's a new one that said He's back at it. <laughs> so wait, the first one worked. Did not. I guess not if he outside again. again. (laughs) Or do you think he's just trying to be viral? (laughs) Hey, listen, to be honest, and let me tell you why. I'll tell you one of the reasons why that's one of my favorite TikTokers because that's really one of my OGs for real, for real. Like, Mm -hmm. real life. Like, he's really from Rochester. And to see what he went through. (sighs) So he really went through it. He, like, I I don't know about that story right there with the, the joint, but what I will say is for what he went through in his life, to see him make it on the shade room doing his TikToks, mm-hmm. that lets, you know what I mean? I just be letting people know, like, yeah. you know. Sky's the limit. Sky's the limit, you know what I mean? So shout out to, shout out to bro, man. Shout out to the OG, you know what I mean? But Definitely. He one of my favorite TikTokers, though, man. That nigga's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Love that. So we have a segment called The Song of the Week. Okay, okay, okay. Where we let you guys choose your song. 
Your favorite artist that you're feeling right now? Because during during the week we have a countdown mm-hmm. um, on Thursdays. Mm-hmm. Shout out DJ Pablo. Gotcha. It's the pre-show, so we give the the, the viewers or everyone that, that tunes into our Instagram the chance to okay. listen to them, vote their songs on. You know. Gotcha. Yep. But since we got you in the building, mm-hmm. we got you to pick song number one because they pick songs ten to two. Um, Two, you know? Oh, they paid the ten through, so I picked number one. Number yeah. one. Oh, okay. Shit. All right. Um, well, this is what we're gonna do. Um, if y'all not familiar with them, I'm gonna make sure that y'all get familiar with them just as I would get y'all familiar with my music. So we're gonna take it, we're gonna take it to the Bay Area. We're gonna fly to the West Coast, we're gonna take it to the Bay Area, and we're gonna jam this Larry June. Thank God for the trap. My niggas out here doing numbers. Hey. Good job, Larry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Suck it to me. <laughs> is that like a famous burger joint right there? It probably is. Where he from? He from uh, he from the Bay Area, so I'm not. Oh, the Bay, the Bay. Yeah, it's Cali, Cali. You from? Uh, he from Fresco, San Francisco. You got the juice. Yeah, you, you got know. orange. You got the orange going fresh, on. Fresh, fresh juice. Organic bust down juice. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everyone's doing orange. Now. Everything's orange, eh? Everything's orange, you know. Hey, you know what's so funny? And that's him right there. You feel me, Mr. Orange Man himself? Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> good job, Larry. You're doing good. Numbers. Hey, 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 hey. That's how he's there. Uh... <laughs> Love that. That energy. And now a question from one of our followers. Hey, it's your girl Tuna T. Um, I have a question for the artist. Um, I wanna know who do you think is the most influential rapper is right now? Let me know. So snacks, mm. how do you reply to that? Like, what's your answer? Um, most influential artist. <laughs> um, damn. To be honest with you, um, if we talking about because the question the question is so wide, you dig what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it's not specified. Like, what what genre, what generation we talking about? So I I'll put it like this. If we talking about a uh, artist most influential just looking at what's going on with the youngins and and what's going on in the scope of the game and what's being followed. <sighs> Shit. Little Chicago niggas got it, man. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like Chief Keith and Dirk and them like that the, the fucking impact that Chief Keith brought in the game is mm-hmm. Crazy, but then again, crazy. it's it's that that shit is crazy. You got you got motherfuckers out smoking, saying they smoking they ops, smoking on. You know, I ain't gonna say it because that's an actual real person. I ain't gonna say the name, but now I mean, like you got people saying that. You got people out here calling ups G Fazo. Shout out to G Herbal for that. Um, it's like yo, these youngins just took the influence that Chicago, you know, the Chicago street shit, and like literally like. Turned it into the shit that niggas is on right now. Like, this shit crazy. Right? Crazy. 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 Yeah, so. I agree. I got to give it to Chief Keith. You feel me? Chief Keith. He really did start a whole new wave. Facts. Facts. Real talk. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you for answering that question for our follower. And yeah. guys, if you want to get a question on our show, send us a quick snap and let us know what your question is for the artist. And make sure you tag or send it to the No Polycast on Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, all that. All that, guys. Make sure you're following us as well. And if you want to stay tuned to all the, if you want to stay tuned to all the episodes, all you gotta do is check out the official website. It's right here. JP's gonna insert it right here. Make sure you check it out. You can see what's going on, all the updates. Make sure you subscribe and all that. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks well, we going we going we going to end off with the the quote of the day, right? Yes. And I think you said something that was pretty dope. Yeah. Earlier. Okay. Um yeah, the quote of the day is shout out to y'all for letting me. Quote That's of the us. day, the quote of the day is If you want to do something, you'll find a way. But if you don't want to do it, you'll find an excuse. Absolutely. That's pretty dope. Nothing but the truth right there. Yeah, so if you want to go lose weight, you go lose that weight. But if you don't want to lose weight and complain, talk about you can't lose the weight, but you at home eating fried chicken sandwiches and, and drinking Kool-Aid and all that shit, either way, it's your fault. So, 
right? Do something with that. Absolutely. Can you tell us a little bit about what you did to to lose some of the weight as well? Like, oh, give yeah. some people some tips. Yeah. Um. So, my regimen is um low carb diet. Um, remove all sugars out your diet. You feel me? Drink a lot of water. I exercise three times a week. Wow. Key. Um, what kind of exercise like, do you do? All those these are times? like the top key things. Yeah. So my exercise. Um, I do a lot of walking. Um. I do a lot of walk, and I'll probably at least walk for like an hour when I have two hours a day. When cardio. I will, um, yeah, definitely get the cardio in, and then I do a hundred sit ups, and um, I try to do a hundred push ups too, really. And then I got um, in, a, in a day, all that, all that shit in a day, and then um, and then I got resistance bands too. You feel me? So yep. I be on the resistance bands training, and, and, and you know, be getting trying to get the arms right. You feel me? Try not to skip leg day. You feel me? <laughs> do not skip. Yeah. Leg day. Why does everybody try to skip leg day? What my nigga Hove said, niggas be skipping leg day just to run their mouth. Hey. <laughs> Hove. <laughs> but yeah, that's um that's that's my workout regimen. That's that's what I've been doing. And um oh, I forgot a big part of it. Intermittent fasting. Um key. So I only eat between the hours of 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. I that's my window to right. eat, mm-hmm. and I'm so disciplined. That I'm not gonna eat anything after 10 p.m. I don't give a fuck right. if Pizza Hut brought 18 pieces to the crib, stuffed cheese, crust, and mad wings. I don't give a fuck. It's right. 10 p.m. I ain't eating that shit. Fuck out of here. Right. <laughs> you gotta be real disciplined. Hey, listen, discipline to save your life, man. Right? Intermittent fasting, for those who might not know, is when you eat for a certain amount of hours and you fast for a certain amount of hours, right? So you eat like during a six hour window. Yeah. And you fast for for the 18. other eighteen hours, and that yeah. that and, and just so y'all know that 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 helps your body break down food because if we constantly eating all the time, what time does it have your body have to break the food now? Exactly. Mm. So right, so it's just up to you to customize it. Intermittent fasting works for everybody, whatever your schedule is, and however it can work for you, you out. can make it work. If you want to do it, you are gonna find a way. If you don't want to do it, you are gonna find an excuse. That, 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 that. That's all that. Real shit. Exactly. No excuses, guys. <laughs> Let them know where they can find you one more time. Um, everything is I am snacks. Instagram, I am snacks. Twitter, I am snacks. TikTok, I am snacks. You gotta let them know um, there's a Z on the end because yeah. it's, it's real specific. You don't want to follow right. the other guy. Right, you're right. Like me, man. I am snacks with a Z at the end. Matter of fact, snacksmusic.com, man. S N A C K Z music.com. Snacks with a Z, and shout out my co-host Carrie with two R's, and two E's, two R's and two E's. You heard? Get it right. right. Or I'm coming to see you Get tonight. It right? Hey, what he say? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no polycast episode nine. Mm-hmm. nine. We out, guys. Yeah, I know. <laughs>